Hello traders, uh, there is a strong argument for just going to the beach this week because uh, I think we just need to get all this kerfuffle out, out of the way and we it is a short week after all with um, Independence Day on Sunday, so the US is on holiday on Friday non-farm payroll on Thursday and um, the UK data tomorrow, I've momentarily forgotten what it is but it's quite important, but um, let's just have a look at the charts and what, see what we've got. I mean, this Euro US dollar daily is just in, trapped in this area. Um, what I think will happen is I think we'll come and retest the Sunday open. And if that holds, then I think we could start to push up and, and break out of this area here. But, uh, like I said, I will just give this more time and um, to see where that goes. Pound US, I just about squeezed some pips out of this today, but um, it was hard work. And, I mean, this just looks as if it could actually roll over uh, with this. Uh, so, one, two, three. So then we had the selling, uh, and then we've pushed back into this area and just just not held. Uh, and we, so if we break these lows, we could come tumbling down. So uh, again, I would actually just stay out of it and, and wait until we get more directional. Uh, yen pairs, pound yen. Has gap down and is in a tight range. Uh, so there is something of a gap there. Whether or not they want to go and test it, hard to say. Uh, like I said, uh, we need to get directional. Um, I think what my preference would be for this to push back up and then roll. And roll significantly. Um, yeah, it's a tough trade, really. If you had got short up there and stayed short, uh, well done. But um, it was tough going. I guess the signals were there. You just had to be very alert, stick your neck out, be decisive, and um, stay put. And unfortunately, I've not done that. Let's look, look at the US dollar yen. <clears throat> Scrappy. Um, I would have preferred to have had a you know, push higher and then get short, but um, you know, matters have uh, raced ahead, and that's not an option at the moment. Um, if we lose our footing at 122, <clears throat> that's going to come to 120 and potentially lower. So I'm just not seeing any setups. Look at the euro yen because that's um, the same as the euro, just stuck in that range. I am thinking that um, the days of the week yen are potentially over, though. Uh, yeah, this is a big move to the downside. We've sold at this fib area, so any kind of retest into here, I would very, very much like to sell. So if we get a bit of a relief rally into this area here, it's probably one of the best setups out there at the moment. I think I think one of the best forex charts out there. Uh, I hope it's just not going to just come down and test this and push back up. What I would really like is uh, a, yeah, a nice B wave in this. So relief rally and then start to work our way down. Potentially to 120. And Aussie CAD stopped me, got in too early last week and scooped under all this support and turned around. Uh, yeah, we're going to head into a lot of resistance up here, so what I would like is for this to come down, hold this area here, and potentially get 
Yeah, that could be leg one, leg two, and then phase three could be up to that side. So Uri N short and Aussie CAD long is my preference. I'm talking about the Aussie, let's have a look at the Aussie US. Let's not ignore that. And yeah, that's just come back up to a resistance level. Gold. is clinging on and this has got the potential you know whichever way we come out of this with this bar I think is going to be the direction for the summer at least uh, I mean typically gold would see some um, some buying in the summer but we'll we'll see I think if we drop out of this and get a strong dollar, this could come tumbling. And I would reckon this is 13. I reckon we could drop 1500 points if that comes out of that box. Well, I just think it's a, it's a terrible chart. I just don't think there is. I could be wrong. But this is uh, seasonal factors normally suggest oil will just drift lower in the summer. Uh, you know, we've struggled up here. At the moment, we're just retesting the underside of that um, resistance level. Invents tomorrow. Let's see what Invents gives us. Okay, so Aussie CAD and Euro Yen are my preference at the moment and I will update you tomorrow. Thanks very much and see you in the room tomorrow.